far away? Yeah, we kind of, I mean, but it's small. Oh, okay. All right, so mm -hmm. I guess this will be the first installment of, you know, Barbershop Talk. Um, as you know, my name is The Bardis, mm -hmm. originally as The Bardis on YouTube. And I'm here with Ray for the Stories. And uh, yeah, we're actually just doing a test just to see how it's, you know, going to play out. But we have this camera right here. We got another camera right there, guys. And, you know, today I want to talk about being uh, legendary. You know what I mean? Uh, but not just being legendary, but being, being a visionary. Mm. That's what I want to talk about today, being a yeah. visionary, because we're sitting in the barbershop. Mm -hmm. We just completed the episode on basically you showing people the, your at home barbershop. That's right. And this isn't something that came with the house. Mm -hmm. This this is something that you envisioned. Mm -hmm. Um, what 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 makes you what may, what would make you a visionary? For so okay, so the word visionary, um, you know, when people say oh. You know that person has a vision right it's pretty much it's, it's it's a dream and you know an idea and how can you make that dream or your idea into reality you know like even though yes this is our first episode of this youtube channel yeah. and it started with a vision it's the same i believe it's the same process like with anything yeah. as far as you know starting a business um you know, finding, uh, you know, being in a relationship or, or dating, it's, it's, it's a process. You yeah. gotta have a vision. You gotta know exactly what you want. If you don't know what, you know, if you don't know exactly what you want, you're gonna get lost and you're gonna go around in circles. Like for me, like I've been in the business for 10, 11 years and people tell me, oh man, I love your, your lifestyle, your story. But for me, it was hard for me to put it together because I'm not, you know, listen, to this day, I don't know how to edit videos. <laughs> like I'm still struggling with yeah, TikTok. Yeah, you see, he's looking at the the cameras, yeah. but you could just look at me. Oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my see, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm being genuine about this. This yeah. is not like this is all new to me. You know, you can even talk to them right okay, now okay. too. Like in the beginning, it, yeah. you know, I'm, I might be all over the place, but I have somebody who I hired full time to help me direct. You know what I mean? Just to get my message across. But you know? it, it starts with no, you know. You know, young entrepreneurs Got it. like myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, because even though even though you hired me, you hired me as a contractor. As so a you contractor. Put, put me into a position of being a boss. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, because you also understand the value in that. Of course. Mm -hmm. And as a as a young entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you think about yourself as you know, wait, either no, I, I'm looking at you and I look so funny. I'm sorry. Can I come <laughs> Yo, no, you yeah, yeah. kick me out, right? No, See, again, I'm all new to this, man. <laughs> I'm trying to watch my language. But you look so damn fucking proper, bro. Like, <laughs> oh, yo, yo, you went to school or something? Yeah. What school you go? Yeah, you, was, you went to Princeton? Yeah, like, man. You thought, yeah, you thought like you, you're from Princeton or something. No, just saying yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah, you know, as, as young entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. we seem to have this far-fetched vision of what we want to be. Yeah. You know, is that a good thing or that is that a bad thing? Because, you know, for me, I feel like it's a good and a bad thing, you know, because sometimes you set yourself up to fail, but you didn't even know that you did. Yeah, yeah. You know, the steps that you make, because I've, I've heard you say this uh, before, mm -hmm. those, the steps that you're, you're taking need to be within the scope of what you can actually do or what you can actually afford, mm -hmm. you know. So, so being a visionary you know, is something that you can, you're supposed to actually be able to get it done. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But you also have to be in the position to think about these things before they happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so what would you tell, you know, uh, you know, a young entrepreneur out there that has these outlandish visions for themselves, mm -hmm. but maybe they can't get their bank account right okay. or they can't get certain situations right and they, they can't seem to even get close to it. Always yeah. complaining mm -hmm. about, oh, I, I, I can't get to this place in life or I can't get to this. But you know what that looks like. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So what would you say? What, what would you say to someone like that? How do you start now 
uh, creating your vision for bigger things, but on the level that you're on right now? Okay. Uh, first of all, that's a good question. Uh, for for the you know for the viewers out there, especially if you're young, you know when they said dream big, you know dream bigger. I, I know it sounds corny, but it's true, right? And th- you know throughout my I would say my my entrepreneurship journey, uh, you know, but the podcast I listen to and just the books that I've read in the past you know years is like this. Oh, I'll give you one 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 good example, right? Because I'm such a, you know, I'm money driven. Like that's a, that's a fact. I'm not going to, you know, beat around the bushes. <laughs> I am money driven. Yeah. Right. Um, when I talk or when I ask, when I, you know, when I'm in these speaking, um, um, events and I ask somebody, Oh, how much would you like to make? You know what they said? Some people said 60,000. Some people said 70,000. Some say a hundred thousand. That was like the average answer that I that I get from from people, right? And I'm like, but they don't really say, oh, I like to be making millions an hour because the the environment that they grew up in or they're surrounded with, nobody tell them it's possible. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. Like I asked my boy, I asked him, my best friend, my childhood best friend, my bro, how much would you like to make? It's a simple question. It's very direct. It's not a tricky question. How much would you like to make? You know what he said? He said 70000 so, so you're basically... So, so I, didn't, I didn't put no limit to that. I was like, how much would you like to make? Right. And he said to me, he was like, oh, oh. And when I explained to him, I was like, oh. Well, I didn't mean like, you know, to be, you know, feel comfortable. No, I'm like, no, I never said that. I was like, how much would you like to make? Mm-hmm. I never put a limit in like so basically you basically you, what you're saying is you gotta that, like you gotta aim higher like that's why i follow grant cardone is the 10x so for, for the people who's trying to hit a hundred thousand dollars you gotta come short you know if i'm gonna go ahead try and get a million one million i know i'm making over a hundred thousand that's if you know, <laughs> if your actions right. like supports it or backs it up you're yeah you might hit a million but you might most like you know it, then you might come short, right. but it's over a hundred thousand dollars. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. Right. People, yeah. people are the vision is is almost the short the short vision. Yeah, it's, so it's, they're it's, not seeing they, they're not opening the possibilities mm-hmm. for that larger that larger vision to to actually play into their life. Yeah, so you have to somehow, and that makes sense. And it, 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 it's embarrassing though, like your goal, like that, like people who's who have goals. Yeah, is. Like it's an, I'm not saying embarrassing. You know, I'm not trying to disrespect, my, disrespect anybody. It's just the fact that like you're, you know, you're cutting yourself short. Yeah. Like, don't cut yourself short. Yeah. Like it's so easy to to hear it. Yeah. Oh, dream bigger, but you know what it means. Yeah. And like, I think the that, break, the yeah. breakdown of what you're trying to see too is the fact that you're not you're not trying to you know shit on anyone or you know talk down, but you're saying you got you got to aim higher because you if you aim, aim higher, you're gonna come up short. Like I'm. See, I'm a numbers guy. Right. You hit for you. Okay, I'm gonna hit a mill. I'm gonna hit a mill. All right. Let's say you do hit a mill. I'll be great. Yeah. Right. But if you come short, right, then you like let's say 300, 400. That's more than a hundred thousand. Right. For you know what I mean. But also, is there different strategies that that it takes you to make a million? Mm-hmm. There's a different strategy that takes you to make fifty. Yeah, of course. So that's why you gotta start. Right. You gotta aim high, but you gotta take. You know, you got to be aggressively patient. Right. It's all about incremental growth. Yeah. And you're basically saying that people are not unlocking those possibilities. You got to unlock every possibility so that you can make that bread or you could you could figure out those situations because mm-hmm. what it takes you to make 50, it might take you different strategies to make 100 or 200, but you didn't put your mindset yeah. in that position. Mm-hmm. To figure that out, yeah, you just limited your your possibilities. Mm-hmm. So, you know, once you start opening those doors, yeah, then you stop just taking the first thing that comes in front of you. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying there's some people that you know drive uh, private, you know, that make you know twenty thousand dollars for a ride, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. there's people that drive 
of Uber that make yeah. 10. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you have to figure it out. You have to figure out yeah. where, where so, you want. So where like going sit. back to like, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. So our, um, you know, our viewers can easily relate to it and can yeah. follow. It's like this, you know, you got to go from like start from zero. You try to do as much as you can to make money. When I say make money, like, okay, I have two or three jobs and just stack, 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 stack. Like I was working as a nurse. I was making like $67,000 a year for the first seven years of my business. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I live below my means. So for me, I'm just so like my financial IQ is up there because I understand how money works. You know what I mean? So like, you know, I, I don't use the word sacrifice because like, like when people say, yeah, I made that those sacrifice, like I already had a sacrifice. If you look at your bank account, they're already sacrificing. It's, it's a fact, you know? Uh, and for me, I don't want that feeling like being broke. But to me, it's it's like I, I feel sick in my stomach. Like I can't go to sleep. Yeah. You know, like to this, like you know, like to this day, I still feel the same way. I, I'm still paranoid, even though yeah, most people think that I made it. I'm successful. I don't think I'm successful. Why? Because I have big goals. Like from a third, from you know, from from other people's eyes, oh, like damn, self consistent. They're Walmart, they're QVC, they're in Target. They see all this. Yeah, it is a successful brand, but me, the driver behind the brand, I don't think we're okay, but we could do a lot more. Let's do it. You feel me? Where some, most people, they're like, yeah, I'm good. No, I got my Lambo. I got a beautiful home. Ah, oh, man, I'm still paranoid. I'm more paranoid than a broke person, bro. Like, as a broke person, like, I'm more paranoid, bro. Yeah, but what else is there to do? Because then it gets boring, though. Cause then it's like, okay, cool. I'm good with just a hundred thousand. But sometimes I think that but it's, it's never that's enough. more, yeah. Not only that it's never enough, but I think that the challenge, it, it, like yeah. defaultly, the yeah. challenge of making more money mm -hmm. um, makes your life more interesting. Yeah, making yes. more money, right? Yeah, more interesting. And also you have, you know, basically the freedom to do what, how, whatever you want. Yeah. And to me, that is priceless. You know what I mean? Like I remember, like, I feel so bad, like, just, you know, just really, like, self-reflecting, like, you know, my upbringing. Like, get like, good grades, you know, when I was high school, my senior in high school, my college, my, uh, my guidance counselor told me, right, if you're, like, you're, you know, you make decent, you know, you have decent grades, you can go to this school. I was like, oh, what's the school? Oh, at this school, I gotta tell me about it. And what was the tuition? Like, 80000 I'm like, 80000 It's like, you're talking about $20,000 a year? I'm like... You gotta, you gotta tell somebody, you gotta pretty much tell somebody who never seen 80 grand or doesn't even have 80 grand. How to spend it? No, it's not. It's, yeah, no, it's like you're telling them to go to school. I like, like people, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why straight A students, they're, that's why they're straight A's because they follow instructions. B's and C students, like, they question things. You know what I mean? They question things. And two, if you, you know, if you grow up with a silver spoon, if your parents always, always there for you financially. Like, I, I feel so for you. Like, I'm talking about like, they just give you money left and right. For me, I didn't have that luxury. You know what I mean? Like, it was just so painful. I, I know I'm a little bit exaggerating, but when I was a kid, I would just, I just hate, 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 just not having, not having money. Even though, yes, I live in a nice condo, but I was limited. If you're, you know, I grew up in a middle class family and if we're limited to like, you know, like for example, when, when it's during winter time, it's freaking cold in the basement. I live in the basement, and my stepdad, like, he, you know, he never turned on the heater for me. Go, oh, I don't want to waste the, you know, the, lot of, the, the oil is expensive. But you, you have a child who's freezing his ass off. You know what I'm saying? So, but I also taught you something. But, you know, it, it, no, he taught me. Here's the thing. He taught me that as I got older, he told me like, listen, I gotta get my money right. Because if I can't rely on my parents, who the fuck am I gonna rely on? Like the government, get the fuck out of here. Like it, like to but the, easy. I think I think that's a good a good thing because that that created that drive. Yeah, it created that it drive. It created that drive that that probably wouldn't be there if, like you said, if your parents were just given. Mm -hmm. So it's like like you said, you know, you feel sorry for some of the people that are always that have parents that's right there to help them because. Yeah. They don't know what that drive is because when your back is against the wall, yeah, you have no one else, you create that drive from within. Yeah, dude, dude, I quit. Like, okay, to make the long story short, you know, you know, 
I, um, I think my biggest highlight in my high school career was basketball. I played varsity once for freshman year. I thought I loved me. I thought I was the man. And then, um, you know, during, and then in my, during my junior year, I quit because like, dude, like it's taking a lot of my time. I didn't know basketball was all year around. <laughs> you know about that? That was all year, like in high school. I don't know. That was like a job for me. I like, this soccer. Yeah. Hey, right? Yeah. No, dude, you got the, the, the league. I mean, you got the, you know, the, the fall league, the basketball the league starts like fall, winter, and then you got spring league, summer league. I'm like, dude. Yeah, it's a full time. I'm not no, it's true. See, like, it is a full time. Yeah, so for me, like, see, you had a lawyer, you have your parents, you know, that gave, you know, that was, you know, was able to, you know, you know, assist you financially. Right. Well, I didn't have that. Because my, my parents were so damn cheap, which is fine. You know what I mean? And but I think they gave me enough. You, no, you know? you're right. No, you're right. You know, like. I, I quit during my junior year just to work. Just to work. Yeah, I didn't quit. I didn't quit. I didn't quit. You still but, picking soccer But balls. I did, I did, <laughs> you, yeah, I did, I did, um, I did, uh, work, you know, mm -hmm. when I was 12 years old, like, uh, in the ice factory. Yeah. And that taught me a lot, but you are right. When you have, when you don't have the access to, mm -hmm. it makes you find out how to get it. Yeah. And if that's a continuous thing with throughout your life, mm -hmm you're probably going to be really fucking successful. Yeah. You know, because that, you know, that is in there. And that's what, that what, that what essentially makes you a visionary because mm -hmm. you're now saying, okay, what do I want? I want a, a you know, a Nintendo. Yeah. Okay. How am I, how am I going to get it? Yeah. You know, work at a barbershop, do different things, mm -hmm. save off that's that's to get it. See, all business owners, hustlers, whatever you call them, they're all visionary yeah. because they, if they want something, they, they, you know, the, the, you know, they already had that in my mind. Well, I, I gotta get that. Yeah. You know, they don't really, then, then, then they figure out, okay, how? It's like, you know, commit first, you know, I mean, the comment now yeah. and figure shit out later. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I am committed on this YouTube channel. <laughs> how the hell? You know how many things we had to, we had to do just for my intro because I'm all new to this. You know what I mean? So the easy, because, you know, obviously I was able to, you know, this is a little bit pricey, but, I was able to afford so, you know, to kind of help me and guide me. Okay, cool. She do, she do that. It makes my life a lot, a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So again, what that requires, it requires money. Money. You know what I mean? His vision. Yeah, he drove from Florida to New York just to to work here full time. That is crazy. That's that's a commitment, and I have to, and then that's commitment on both ends. Yeah. Because I want to do this, and he wants to do this. It's like, all right, cool. Let's work together. Yeah. And now we're doing our first episode. Yeah. So that's a vision right there. Yeah, that, that's a vision. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And yo, that's a good way to end the episode. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more of these. Please go ahead and subscribe to YouTube channel if you haven't as yet. Forgive us. This is our first time doing a sit down mm -hmm. uh, podcast here on the Self Cut System, system channel. Yeah. Um, Ray is going to be showing you a lot of his life. And I'm going to be on the channel as well, doing a lot of cool things. We're going to be doing challenges. We're going to just be bringing content to you guys. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out the self-cut system, go to selfcutsystem.com mm. and go and cop yours. Are, yo, the limited version still available? Yeah, King's Gold. Yeah, we, we do have a few hundred units yeah. left. So okay. make sure to cop that and um, yeah, guys, and, and get it. Get it. And if you're at uh, your local Walmart, Mart, go ahead and go to the Clipper section. And yeah, so you'll more. see this uh, mini travel edition. By okay. the Clipper, yeah, go to by the Clipper section is in you know almost every Walmart stores. Um, so you know what you can do is you can go to our website selfcustoms.com and you, there's a tab that's called Walmart Locator. All you have to do is put in your zip code or the name of your town and the state, and it'll show you, it'll give you a list. It's yeah. pretty freaking cool. It'll give you a list of all the stores near you that actually has our product, self cut system. You see this, guys? This is this is like A1 premium cut content. This is like premium cut beef, you know what yeah, I mean? Why? Yeah, yeah. Because premium like, beef, guess like what? This is this is the closest that some people will ever get to a CEO of your caliber. Just even the things that you know, you know what I'm saying? Got it from Walmart, you know. So mm -hmm. these are some of the things that we're going to talk about. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It was a year and a half. We'll, we'll talk more about <laughs> it in the next video. Yeah. I'm here. Like, I'm super excited about this. And uh, yeah, that's what, that'll be the next video. 
Awesome. All Go right. ahead and subscribe, like the channel, uh, make sure to share this video with your friends and family, and we're out. Peace.